So one of the major causes of liver disease in Australia, as in many parts of the world, is alcohol. And alcohol can add to liver disease due to other causes, such as hepatitis or fatty liver from obesity or diabetes. So alcohol is a really key target to reduce the risk of developing worsening liver disease or for developing liver cancer. So the recommendation is that for anyone with cirrhosis, they drink zero alcohol. For some people, they might find that quite easy. I might be able to say, you should stop drinking. And I'll go, oh, sure, no problem, I'll stop drinking. But for the vast majority of people, it's actually quite challenging to stop drinking. Reducing alcohol consumption is of benefit, but not nearly as good as stopping drinking altogether. And there are ways that we can help people drinking if they want it. Not everybody wants help, but if you want help and you want to really help your liver function improve, then engagement with drug and alcohol services or with other services provided through liver clinics can be really, really helpful. There may be counselling services that are of benefit to reduce and stop drinking alcohol. And there may be medications that can help with cravings in particular to stop that urge to go for the next drink. Other things that people find helpful, zero alcohol beers or wines may be helpful. We've got to watch the sugar content of some of them. And for some people, drinking a zero alcohol beer may be a trigger for drinking more actual alcohol containing beer. So it may not be a good strategy for some people. But for other people, it works. So converting your alcohol containing beer to a zero alcohol containing beer may be an important first step. Now, some people will be referred to an alcohol and drug service to help them with their addiction or their dependence on alcohol. That will involve a consultation in the first setting and then really a personalised approach to what's the best strategy for you to help you to cut down or to stop drinking alcohol altogether. It may involve medications. It may involve ongoing support through a counsellor. It may involve a period of detoxification in a facility or a period of rehabilitation to stop you going back to drinking alcohol. It may be triggered by something such as a driving under the influence of alcohol conviction. It may be triggered by your specialist telling you you've got to stop drinking. Don't be afraid of engaging with drug and alcohol services. They're really there for your benefit and to help you to really stop drinking and to get yourself healthy again. How do we know we're drinking too much? Well, there are national recommendations about that. No more than 10 standard drinks a week and no more than four standard drinks in a single sitting. Above those levels, you're drinking at harmful levels and can lead to liver disease or other diseases within the body that can be due to alcohol. If you're thinking you're drinking too much, then perhaps have a talk with your doctor or really think about how you're going to cut down your alcohol consumption.